presenting the Menace Mark 1 Meteor, which will take me, Commander Dende, on the first pedal-powered mission to Mars! Jump in, Nasha! <laughs> Initiating leg power! <laughs> to glide control. a bike. It's a pedal-powered interplanetary cruiser. But now it's useless. Dad, I need a new bike. No. I said no. And in other news, Dennis has got a new bike. Dennis, a bike costs money. It doesn't grow on trees, you know. Haven't you got any money? Not enough for a new bike. But you work your fingers to the bone in that office. That's because I love my job. And I do practically run the rubber band and paperclip division. That's what I mean. They can't do without you. Well, that's true. If it wasn't for me, it'd grind to a halt. Exactly. So, ask your boss for a rise. What? You're joking. Ask Mr Scrimp for more cash. He's the meanest man in Beano Town. Dad, are you a man or a mouse? Stand up to the old skin flint. You know, you're right. He should be paying me more. I'll march up to the old miser's office and demand a raise. What? Have you taken leave of your senses? I didn't get where I am today by giving handouts to every Tom, Dick and What's-His-Name who walks through that door! 1,101. Get out! You know what, Nash? When Dad gets back, he's gonna buy me the best bike in the... Dad! What happened? I'll tell you what happened, Dennis. I talked to Mr Scrimp, like you said, and he agreed he wasn't paying me the right amount. See? I told you it would work. He's not giving me more money. He's cutting my wages for wasting his time. Oh, why did I listen to you? Remind me again, Dennis. Why are we trashing your house? Because I'm trying to make it look like we're dead poor. But how's that going to get you a new bike? If Dad had more money, he could buy me one, right? And if Dad's boss sees how poor we are, he'll feel bad and give Dad a rise. Listen and learn, boys. <coughs> is that you, Scrimp? This is Hiram Big Box of USHQ. Yeah, you're a boss. Listen, drop whatever you're doing and go see what's his name. Works in rubber bands and paper clips. I can't think why Mr Big Bucks wants me to go round to wretched what's-his-name's wretched house. Still, he's the boss. Whatever he says goes. <laughs> Is this that wretched what's-his-name's house? Yeah, I'm that wretched what's-his-name's son. Come in, Governor, come in. Goodness, this is incredible. Oh, don't you worry about us, your wealthiness. <laughs> we're poor, but we're happy. Oh, where's me manners? How about a lovely cup of char? Here, take a seat, sir. <laughs> Family heirloom. Been used 23 times, but it still makes a lovely brew. That's awful. But it's the only one we got. Not that. Everything. 
When what's his name asked me for a raise, I had no idea. Look, when your father gets back, tell him I'm doubling his salary. Nobody should have to live like this. Yes! Result! Mr. Scrim. What's his name? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were coming. We were out shopping. Shopping? On your income? Uh, just a few groceries, you know. Really? So, so what's this then? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's the latest thing. A Swiss Army moustache trimmer. What? How can you afford some fancy new gizmo when your family are starving? M must have been a free giveaway. Oh, we're not starving. I'm just going to cook some nice spaghetti for supper. It's only tin spaghetti. I'm starting to smell a rat. You're not really poor. All this play acting was just a sham to get me to give you more money. Play acting? I don't understand. Nice try, what's his name? But your devious little ploy has failed. Oh, and one more thing. You're fired! But, oh. All right, Dennis. What's going on? Oh, my house! My beautiful house! Dennis! Uh, don't worry, Mum. We can fix the house. And I'm sure Dad will be able to get a new job. Easy peasy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, somebody's dropped that. Never know when he might need a play clip. It's hopeless. I'm hopeless. Nobody wants to employ me. Fired from 13 jobs in one day. That's got to be a record. Paper clips and rubber bands are all I know. I was happy working for Mr. Scrimp. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you your old job back. Just leave it to me. OK, Nasha, now we'll show Mr Scrimp how the rubber band and paperclip division is rubbish without Dad. Follow me. <laughs> What's going on? Stop all this nonsense and get back to work! Who did that? <laughs> OK, Nasha, here we go. The world's biggest rubber band ball. Oh, it's you. What's his name, son? Oh, thank you. Think nothing of it. Oh, I don't understand it. The paperclip and rubber band division ran like clockwork when your father was in charge. Yes. Pity you sacked him. Uh, maybe I was a tad hasty. I wonder if he'd come back and work for me again. Only one way to find out. Step up now. Don't be snooty. Come and try my tooty fruity. Ah, what's his name? How would you like your old job back? I'll double your salary. What? Well, I don't know. I... Triple it then. I need you back, what's his name? The place has gone to the dogs without you. Well, in that case, I'd love to come back. Excellent. Jump in then. <sighs> So, Dad, uh, about my new bike, I was thinking 21 gears, dual suspension... Dennis, there isn't going to be a new bike. That's right, Dennis. After paying out to redecorate the entire house, I reckon I won't be able to give you any more pocket money until you're 37. And you can have a new bike when you're 48. But, but, what am I supposed to do until then? You know, it's amazing what you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. Oh. <laughs> OK, Nash. 
Sasha. Almost ready for the big launch. <laughs> These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission to seek out strange new softies and menace them to boldly go where no mutt has gone before. Huh? Huh? There's only enough power in the elastic to send one small Abyssinian tripound into orbit. Oh. Good luck, Nasher old chum. Happy landings! Oh. Awesome! So every one of us must pull together in an effort to recycle and find new ways to create alternative sources of energy. Let us make Beano Town Greeno Town. The mayor is absolutely right. Yes, we all need to do our bit to save the planet. I shall be moving amongst you, looking for the most eco-friendly, energy-saving citizen in Beano Town. Uh oh! What's happened to the TV? It's simply super, Walter. Entertaining and energy efficient. This will make everybody sit up and take notice. <laughs> you maniac! Look what you've done! Keep your hair on, Walter. I was just testing out my new rocket. That's not a rocket. It's a... a... a rotten refuse receptacle. You've completely wrecked my beautiful wind-powered water feature. Wind-powered, did you say? Hmm. Wind power could be the very thing I need to launch me Denterprise Mark II. Well, if you're sure you want to give me her lunch, that's very helpful of you, Dennis. Forget Mum's homemade parsnip puree. What you need, be is big beans! <laughs> beans, beans are good for the heart. And help to make me rocket start. Eat up, B. I don't get it, Jen. What's the plan? It's very simple, Curly. I'm experimenting with new sources of energy. Have you never heard of wind power? Fascinating. I shall have to keep an eye on this young man. OK. Let's get this rocket off the ground. Was that the mayor I just saw? I'm very keen to show him my wind-powered water feature. I had to rebuild it, all thanks to you, Dennis. Walter, look, your foot. Ah, uh -huh. you noticed my new homemade eco-trainers. <laughs> That idea. Where am I going to find another new source of energy for me rocket? <sighs> ah, yes. Oh, not only am I getting fit, I'm, I'm, I'm providing all the energy for every electrical device in the house. Oh. Pedal power. Nice one, Dad. <sighs> oh. Nasha, after I launch Enterprise 2, you'll be heading for the stars. Huh? This is the way forward, Nasha. Pedal power. Pedal power? This boy is a shining beacon of energy efficient excellence. I spoke too soon. Well, Nasha, looks like we'll have to put your first space flight on the back burner. <sighs> Wait till the mayor sees this lot. He'll be over the moon. Unlike you, Nasha. 
Oh, yes. This compost is going to make me a household name. <laughs> what a whiff. Remove your nose immediately, Dennis. I do not wish to contaminate my precious cargo. A barrel load of mouldy cabbage leaves and rotting apple cores. Not for very much longer. All this biodegradable material is soon to be fermented and recycled into biofuel to power my new eco-friendly combined cuckoo clock and cocoa maker. Biofuel what? You mean you can make fuel from stinky old fruit and veg? Indubitably. Any fuel knows that. <laughs> Excellent. Just what I need for the next phase of my menacing mission to Mars. Thank you. I'll take that. It's that boy again! Incredible! He never stops! Now, what's that nitwit up to? OK, Nasha. Time to turn bruised beetroot and battered broccoli into biofuel! <laughs> With all this power, we'll be able to launch the whole shed into space! <laughs> Keep shoveling, Nasha! We need more energy! <laughs> oh, Dennis, are you sure? Absolutely positive. I've been following his activities very closely. What a splendid eco-friendly example to all the young folk of Beano Town! It's not possible. Is it? I have decided to award your son the town's highest honour, the Legion de Compost, for all his services to recycling and energy conservation. Dennis, a medal? I must be dreaming. So, where is uh, the hero of the hour? Well, I, I, I think he's out the back, in the shed. OK, helmets on. <laughs> This is going to be awesome! Prepare for ignition and blast off! Oh, what? Who's that? Congratulations, young man! Uh, what? As Mayor of Beano Town, I would like to thank you for all your hard work and devotion to the cause of recycling and energy conservation. Okay! But, but, Mr Mayor, I protest! Not about my wimp! Feature. Am I sh Shush, Walter. Uh, great. Thanks. Gotta go! <laughs> Anxious to get back to your work, eh? But first, the presentation. No, but I need to. Oh! <laughs> and so, it gives me great pleasure to award you, Dennis, this special medal which, naturally, has been recycled from old milk bottle tops and tin foil toffee wrappers. Well done, Go Dennis. On, Good lad. Uh, thanks. Great. Goodbye. <laughs> He's so modest, isn't he? We must have a photograph now. And you're not to stop working until you've cleaned up every inch of the town. Great. Instead of sweeping across the universe, I'm stuck here sweeping up the street. Ah, Dennis, since you're so fond of recycling, you'll be glad to hear that I'm recycling your pocket money for the next five years to pay for all the damage you've caused. Oh! Well, at least it can't get any worse. Oh, dear, Dennis. Talk about coming down to earth with a bump! <laughs> no, Walter. That's what I call coming down to earth with a bump. Welcome home, boy! You're the world's first astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> What's 
Walter up to now? With origami, you can fashion paper into objects of exquisite beauty. Objects of beauty. Hmm, good. And also give your enemies a good scare. <gasps> scare my enemies? Ha! Huh, even better! One more lesson and you will be a black belt in origami. Ha! <laughs> This is with me now. They'll feel the wrath of my flying rabbit! Not to mention my dancing giraffe! Ha! Ah! There was this big shadow on his window, like a rabbit or something. Maybe Walter's turned into a rabbit. He's always eating lettuce. Ah! Ah! Oh, sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? You know, with my origami hawk. <laughs> origami? Isn't that making flowers out of paper napkins? That's just for beginners. I do the martial arts version. I am the prince of paper, the phantom of the fold, the oligarch of origami. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't care what sort of Ollie what's it you are. That stuff's for wussies. My martial art's much better. Really? And which martial art would that be? It's called, um, uh, Dendo. Hi! <laughs> Very impressive. Told you! <laughs> Better than your paper folding any time! How about a little contest then? Morning break on Thursday. Origami versus Dendo. OK. Bring it on. <laughs> Most important thing in martial arts, you got to know how to fall. So what's Dendo then, Den? I've never heard of it. Ah, yes. Uh, that's because it's secret, Pie Face, known only to a select few. Well, just me, really. So explain it to me again, Den. You reckon with this Dendo... You'll be able to take on Walter in a martial arts contest. Come off it, Curly. It's Walter. I'll uh, brush up on some of the finer points. And I know just the right sparring partner. <laughs> that's, that's right, Nasha. You've got to concentrate. There's more to Dendo than meets the eye. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll go easy on you. Hey! -ya! Look, Nasha, and anyway, you can't just jump out of the way. I've really got to fine-tune me dendo skills or I'll look like an idiot in front of Walter. All right, let's try again. Now you must prepare for the ultimate origami challenge. I'm ready, Master. First, you fold the paper like this and this. Like this and this. And then... You have created the mightiest weapon of origami. The fearsome pecking duck. Yes, I've got it. The pecking duck. Now, you truly are a black belt in origami. But remember, as the sensei has said, a little pecking is a dangerous thing. Yes. Yes, a dangerous thing. Peck, peck. <laughs> you know what, Nasha? Either you'll have to take on Walter, or I'll have to get some help. I must consult the one whose words bring light to the unenlightened, the wise one. Dennis! Oh, you startled me. Sorry, Gran. Oh, no matter. What can I do for you? Well, the thing is, I've got into this martial arts contest with Walter. Enough. Favourite grandson. 
I know you have entered into a foolhardy enterprise which could put life and limb at risk. You think? Even though it's only Walter in his soppy origami? Of course! Haven't you ever had a paper cut? Oh, it can really hurt. So, listen to me carefully. To gain victory, you must harmonise with the spirit of the universe. Spirit of the universe? Yeah! You must call upon your inner strength. Inner strength, right. But most importantly, you must enter into this contest at one with the forces of nature. Forces of nature, gotcha. Come, we will consult the writings of the masters. Oh. So, favourite grandson, do you understand what you must do? Even though you will be mocked by your enemies? I understand, oh wise one. No matter what they say, I will be sure to follow the forces of nature. Very well. Go! And shut the door after you! Oh, there's a shocking draft in here! I need more time to prepare, Walter. Make the contest after school on Thursday, instead of morning break. Ha! Huh. Very well. But make sure you turn up. We don't want people thinking you're chicken, <laughs> do we? <laughs> don't worry. I'll be there. I don't get it, then. Why are you letting them get away with that? Don't worry, Pie Face. When the time of battle comes, I will be at one with the forces of nature. Let the contest begin! To water. <laughs> I've just remembered. It's time for after school club. <laughs> Come along, chaps. Looks like there's more to Dendo than I thought. Ooh, that was a close thing, Den. No, it wasn't, Pie Face. I followed the way of Dendo. I was at one with the forces of nature. You mean you knew it was going to rain? Of course I did. Gran told me. There you go, Dennis. The weather forecast says it's going to rain on Thursday afternoon. All you've got to do is switch the contest to then. <laughs> Dennis, you are truly a master of Dendo. Yes, you must school us in its mystic ways. I will, Curly, and together we shall overcome the wusses of origami. Ow! Dennis, 
Check this out! Looks like nasha has got a famous twin. <laughs> if only. If Nasha was a celebrity, he could get us into the Rat Bucket gig tomorrow night. I still think we should ask Athena to get us some tickets. Look, Athena, the latest issues. Oh, my gosh, let me see. Yeah, she is Rat's only kid after all. No way. Athena wouldn't give us the time of day, especially if you go round swiping her mags. Athena. Hmm. Weird looking creature, if you ask me. Still, fashion is fashion. <laughs> At last! Yes, the dog is an Abyssinian wirehead tripe hound. Rare? I should hope so too. No, I don't care what it costs. It's the number one fashion accessory with the in crowd. So get me in, or you'll be out permanently. You know what? I reckon Nasha might help us get into the gig after all. Yeah? How? Listen and learn, pie face. Better get going. I've got to feed my Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Wait a minute. I remember that horrible mutt of his. Can it be? It can't be. It is! It's a tripe hound! Stop him, sugar! Hey! Come back! Yeah? What's up? Uh, Miss Athena wants your dog. How much? Name your price. Sorry, girls. Nasha's not for sale. Nasha? Ugh. That name will have to go. Make a note, sugar. Change name of dog. No need. Like I said, Nasha's not for sale. At any price. There you go. <laughs> hmm, we'll see about that. Everyone has their price, even Dennis. Hey! Whoa, whoa. Wow! Is that what I think it is? The Super Curl 3000 with built in surround sound and full remote control. <laughs> Direction finding system as standard. Do left hand 180 at the bottom of the drive for the skate park. Wow! And of course, it has 360 remote control tail spin ability. <laughs> that totally rocks! <laughs> Limited edition, of course, but you can have it in exchange for the dog. Uh, no thanks. It would take more than a skateboard to break up Nasher and me. Hmm, apart from his dog and his skateboard, what else does Dennis love? Astronomy, bees, hang gliding. No sugar, music. Especially guitars. <laughs> Athena, with a rat bucket triple neck, the coolest guitar in the world. I want to trade Dad's guitar for, let me guess, me dog. Yes, I may not be the best guitarist on the planet, but you could be with a guitar like this. Nah, I prefer a single neck axe. No deal. Oh, really? Well, let's see what the dog thinks, shall we? Sugar, the chart. <gasps> Listen up, dog. This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. Never to be repeated. Come with me, and it's a first-class lifestyle. With a luxury penthouse kennel. A private chef. Mountains of luxury hand-rolled sausages. All for you. <laughs> well, do we have a deal? Okay, then. You got me. 
It's a deal. Yes! Come along, sugar, and bring the hound. And you can give her to the dog's home. <laughs> Nasha, gone? I, I don't understand. Don't worry, pie face. All will be revealed. <laughs> we'll be seeing Nasha again soon. And we'll be getting rock bucket tickets. Really? Trust me. No! Oh, stop it! No! 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 this half-baked hearth rug into a full-on fashionista. <laughs> How can Pampa Pets help you today, madam? Mm? Nails, please. <laughs> mm, I think we're talking industrial pedicure, madam. I'm going in. Ooh! That's some nail. And that was some bag. <sighs> Onwards! <laughs> That's the way, Nasha. Where is that waiter with our lunch? I'm ravenous. Madame, Monsieur, your order. Spaghetti and meatballs. Enjoy! Mmm, meatballs. My favourite. <laughs> Pardon, I think Monsieur missed a bit. <laughs> What he's done! My new outfit's ruined! Sugar, come. Let's get this creature home before he embarrasses me anymore! <laughs> Believe me, he's only just getting started. <sighs> well, only seconds to go before midnight. All being well, Nasha should be here just about. Now. Here, take him. Your dog's a menace. He's eaten my best face cream, totally trashed my room, chewed up all my clothes, and scared Daddy's guard dogs witless. Sorry, no can do. He's all yours now. What? No! Tripe hands are so yesterday. Sorry. No, wait! Wait! <laughs> The guitar, the skateboard, you can have them all. Sugar? Well, I don't know. A deal's a deal. What else do you want? Hmm, I know. How about tickets for the gig? Tickets, you say? Hmm, might be nice. No problem. Sugar, give him the tickets. As many as you want. Anything, just say you'll take this monster back. What do you think, Nasha? Do you want to come back? <laughs> so, do we have a deal? Deal. Yes. Make a note, sugar. Tripe pounds are out. Permanently. <laughs> Looks like we're off to see Rat Bucket after all, Nasha. Thanks to you. Result! <laughs> hey, wait a minute. These are tickets for last year's gig. Athena! <laughs> Captain Yoke of the Starship Enterprise. 
I have lost several crew members to a terrifying life form known as the Spoon. <gasps> What's that? It's one of them! I come in peace. No! <laughs> times have I told you, Dennis? Don't play with your food. You don't mind when Gran does it. I said, shut! Yes, well, she's only staying here until her foot gets better. That's right. Meanwhile, you don't mind looking after Harley, right, Dennis? Who's Harley? My hog. The pig. Sounds like fun to me. Can't wait to meet him, Gran. You will, when you go and feed him. Hey. Check out my glasses! <laughs> <laughs> Fancy mistaking a hog for a hog. A what? A pig for a motorbike. Well, that's the problem with the internet. You never quite know what you're going to get. True. But if she decided to keep the pig, why didn't she buy a home for it? You know, a sty. She did try to build a sty. And dropped a brick on her foot. Meanwhile, the pig's running around all over the place. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Uh -huh. You found Miss Bears. I wondered where they were. Ta! Right, I'm off to feed Harley. There's some leftover cabbage in the kitchen. <laughs> what a pong! Make sure he's got clean water. Will do, Gran. Come on, boy! All right. Stay and keep Nipper company. I'll see you in a bit. Come on, boys. Let's see if anyone's noticed that I put salt in the sugar bowl. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Harley. Here's your swill. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah. See you later, then. Bye! Oh, no! The bucket! Uh, me again, fella. Just uh, come back to get me... <laughs> that little Dennis looks at it on the floor, all up the walls and all over his face and says... Me never wanted stupid birthday cake anyway. <laughs> really? Brilliant! <laughs> oh, that's great. That's another one. <laughs> oh yes, Dennis was a real handful when he was a baby. Oh, hello, love. How's Harley? Oh, a bit lively, as you can see. Mmm, <laughs> smells nice in here. Oh yeah, Gran made a pie. <coughs> Delicious. So, are you guys ready for band practice? Bring it on! Uh, isn't that my jacket? Yes, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, time for a break, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for a break. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. It's probably past Harley's feeding time. Eh? Oh, OK, Gran. Come on, lads. You can give me a hand with the pig. You go, Dennis. Your friends can catch up with you. Oh, all right. Uh, see you in a bit. I haven't played one of these since... Well, I've never played one of these. But it's never too late to learn. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Oh, here's some fertiliser for your rhubarb. What? Oh, thanks, Den. Wait a minute. I thought you were... Who's playing my guitar? Wow! I see your foot's better. Uh, oh, uh, well, actually, it doesn't hurt when I do this, but if... Oh, if I just walk like this... Oh, the pain. Right. I thought 
you two were too tired to keep on rocking. Oh, we are now. Your gran has even more energy than you do, Jen. Hmm. Come on, boy. Let's go and read some comics. And there might be a doggy treat in it for you, too. <laughs> gran, what are you doing? Oi! That was the last sausage. Oh, never mind. It's pretty much done. <laughs> Gran, you shouldn't make a fire in here. You could have burnt down me treehouse. Well, I don't know about that. It took me ages to get it going in the first place. I had to use all that paper there. My comics! You should fire to... My comics! You don't need comics. I'll tell you a funny bedtime story. It's not my bedtime. Is it not? Ah, oh, well. We'll have a laugh in the morning, eh? Oh. 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 Here, boy. Night. What? You can't stay here. This isn't a granny flat. It's my treehouse. My treehouse. Well, at least that's over with for this morning. Dennis! Gran says don't forget to give Harley his chewable vitamin. Pesky pig. Smelly swine. Hot-bellied pest. No! Hi, lads. What's going on? Just tidying up. Your gran asked me to. <laughs> what are you doing, Pie Face? Running up some curtains for the treehouse. Your gran showed me how. Right, that's it. I've had enough. If anyone wants me, I'll be in my room. <laughs> doing there? I had to get away. Oh, I thought you were hanging out with Gran. I was. I love you, Gran. She's so funny, but she had me drumming for hours yesterday. I'm worn out. All this fun is starting to feel like hard work. Yeah, I know. And her foot is totally better. I think she's well enough to go home and look after Harley. But since she started hanging out with us in the treehouse, she doesn't want to leave. That's right. And I can't keep up with her and... She ate my pie. Not your... Yes. The pie I saved for emergencies. <gasps> right. Heads together, lads. I've got a plan. I don't know why you've brought me back home. I was really happy in the treehouse. <laughs> this way, folks. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, wow! You built a sky for Harley. Brilliant! But careful, mind your foot. Oh, oh, um, actually, I think it might be getting better. Thanks, Dennis. That's OK, Gran. Do you think you're going to be able to cope all right? Harley's a bit of a handful. Oh, don't worry. I'll be able to handle him. Now he's got his own place to live in. So, where is this pig, anyway? <laughs> I had to ask. <laughs> A stupid pig. Hey, wait a minute. I recognise that sty. Didn't it used to be my shed? Used to be, Dad. Used to be. Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad we've got the treehouse to ourselves again. Wow! What's the 